So I have two dogs, but I also have two rabbits. And I train my dogs not only to coexist with my bunnies, but to form a very strong bond together. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the steps I took to train my dogs not to hunt my rabbits. Hello everyone and welcome back to Ollie and Oatly's channel and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to train your dog to not hunt or hurt your rabbits that way they can start living together without you constantly worrying. All dogs are different and some breeds don't have a prey instinct but that was not the case for me. My dogs are hunting dogs and they spend most of their day outside hunting for small animals and lizards and unfortunately they do bring me presents all the time and sometimes even baby bunnies which makes me cry but they are dogs and it's what they do. I took a huge risk bringing bunnies into my house knowing that my dogs could potentially hurt them but I made sure to put in the time and work to train my dogs not to hurt my bunnies and keep my bunnies safe. So if you have dogs and wondering if you should get a pet bunny or if you just got a bunny and you're trying to train your dogs to coexist with your bunny, you will want to keep watching because at the end of the video, I'm going to share my top tips on training your dog not to hurt your bunnies. Okay, let's go over the supplies you're going to need. You are going to need a safe enclosure for your bunnies. I use a 36 inch tall gate from Amazon that I really like. You will need a leash and a head collar that goes over their nose. You're going to need treats and a crate for your dog with prior crate training. If your dogs aren't crate trained, I would really recommend you start with that because being able to put your dogs away will keep the rabbits safe. Step one, set your rabbit's enclosure and your dog's crate next to each other. By doing this, you are actually teaching your dogs to relax near the rabbits since they are laying down and relaxing in their crate. I crate my dogs when we sleep as well. So that's about six hours of forced time next to each other a day, but they aren't able to hurt them. Step two, once you bring your rabbits home, let them get situated for about three hours. Leave the dogs out of the room completely during this time, and then you can introduce your dogs through their gate. If you have two dogs like I do, I recommend doing one at a time or have someone help you. You can just let the bunnies hang out in their enclosure and put the head harness and leash on your dog. Your dog will smell the bunnies immediately and want to investigate, but if they are a little clueless at first, you can just lure them to the enclosure. Make sure they approach the enclosure slowly. If they are in hunting mode, stop them, make them sit, give them a treat, and then make them lay down. Slowly pet them to calm them down, but if they are just so fixated on the bunnies, remove the dog completely from their room and then let them calm down for about 10 to 15 minutes before trying that again. Once you make it to the enclosure and the dog can see the bunnies, make them lie down. The goal of this training is to teach your dog to lay down when they are by the bunnies. Now that my dogs are 100% trained, when they approach the bunnies, they automatically just lay down. So it's important to keep them laying down the entire time they are near them to teach them to do this even when you are not around. Now the first time I showed my dogs my new bunnies, they were literally drooling, whining, and my Brittany Spaniel would put his body into like a hunting position. These are all signs that they are not trained and they are pretty much hunting them. Don't stress out about this because they are safe in the enclosure, but when your dog stops this behavior, that's a really good sign. They are finally starting to understand that this is a family pet and they are not to be hunted. Okay, so once your dog is laying down for at least five minutes and acting calm, give them a treat and go to step three, which is to slowly have the dog walk away, bring them into the other room just to think about what just happened and to get any excitement out. Once calm again, you can repeat this process a few times a day. The goal again is to teach your dog to slowly approach your rabbits and lay down. Before you move on to step four, your dog should be going through their entire day ignoring the rabbits or laying by them. 
if they show a lot of interest still or getting overly excited near them, give it more time and practice walking them near on a leash, making them lay down. And please note, it may take one to two months for your dog to start ignoring them and you do not want to rush this process. Once you feel like they are comfortable around the bunnies and don't have a desire to hunt them anymore, you are ready to move on to step four. Go ahead and place the head harness and leash on your dog and have them lay down near their enclosure. Then open the door and place some of your rabbit's favorite treats or pellets near your dog. Your rabbits will be very interested in the dogs and will start to sniff them. This is where the head harness comes in handy because you can now control their mouth just in case. When the rabbit approaches, I place my other hand on the dog's head and just pet them. This way I'm keeping them calm by petting them, but also my hand is ready again to pull them away just in case. Reward your dog with treats for good behavior and only let these sessions last about two to three minutes. You can slowly increase time every day and do this exercise two to three times daily. After about one to two weeks of letting them interact while on a leash and you are nearby for about 30 minutes at a time, you can move on to step five. And now it's time to teach your dog to be calm inside the rabbit's enclosure. If their dogs ever get inside your rabbit's enclosure, you want to make sure that they know how to behave inside instead of hunting them. To do this, you can fully open up one of the gates and walk them inside with a leash and then just have them lay down. Let the bunnies check them out, watch for any bad behaviors from your dog. Your dog will probably know the drill by now since you have been practicing for so long. Practice doing this daily for about seven days and always reward them with treats during and after the session. Step number six, keep your dog on a leash in the living room and let your bunnies out to explore. As they hop and zoom all around, have your dog stay laying down and teach them to be calm. Even if your dog doesn't want to hunt them anymore, they could have the urge to play, which is also very dangerous. So it's important they understand that even if they are running and playing, they still have to lay down and stay calm. Step number seven and the last step, if you have gotten to this point, it's safe to say your dog understands that bunnies are your pets and they need to stay calm when they are near them. You can start letting them interact without a leash, but always 100% supervised. It took me about six months until I felt completely comfortable leaving them unintended in the same room together, but some dogs may take a lot longer or maybe never if they aren't trusted. And now for my top tips. Number one, at first, my dogs were obsessed with my bunnies. They would sit by their enclosure and just stare at them all day. If your dogs aren't scaring your bunnies, you can actually just let them do this. As long as they're not pawing, barking, or like whining at the bunnies, I would just leave them alone. If they are, Go ahead and put them in their crate to calm down and just let them out once they're calm. Tip number two, having a head harness that goes over their snout is super important to be able to control their face. Tip number three, if your dog understands the word no, definitely tell them if they're doing something wrong and their behavior is not welcome. Tip number four, crate your dogs when you leave the house, when you can't watch them, or when you go to sleep, just to ensure your dogs do not get to your bunnies when unattended, especially before training. Even if your dogs can't actually go into their enclosure and hurt them, they could scare them and that is not going to be good for your bunnies. You really don't want to be scaring them at all. So if they are unattended, go ahead and crate your dog. Tip number five is to feed them together. So when I feed my dogs, I feed my rabbits at the same time. That way they can eat together. This shows the dog that the bunnies are a part of our pack and it also shows the bunnies that dogs are associated with being fed. Tip number six is to take it slow. Rushing or trusting too soon can be very dangerous. Tip number seven, if your dog is just getting overly excited or shows signs of hunting your bunnies, put them in their crate to calm down. I like to keep them in their crate instead of removing them completely from the room. That way they still learn that they have to stay calm but being close to the rabbits. And my last tip is for you to stay calm. If your dog knows that you have a lot of anxiety and stress, they will also feel anxious and feed off of that. 
So it's important for you to stay calm by petting them, by just saying good boy, good girl, just letting them know that you're calm so they don't feed off of that negative energy. Your dog and bunnies will not be best friends overnight, but following these steps and giving it enough time will allow your dogs and bunnies not to only coexist, but to form a very special, unique bond together. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know any of your feedback in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, bye guys.